Hi there, Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I'm going to show you how to make a stamp, a proper photopolymer stamp with some very simple things plus photopolymer gel. So I have some very, very cheap black vinyl and a sheet of acetate and I've turned back the corner of my vinyl so that I can put it onto my acetate corner and now I can just peel that away from that and just use a ruler to put it on without any bubbles because you really do not want bubbles in this. So I've got my design sorted out already and what I'm going to do is to put this on my cutting mat. I've reversed my design. So this is going to go onto my cutting mat and I'll put it on this side for a change make sure it's down nicely. And I've reversed my design because I want to actually be able to flip this and make the stamp from the other side. It'll become very obvious in a short while. Using the half cut function I'm going to cut this out and then hopefully I will be able to weed my design to make my negative for my stamp. My design is cut, you may not be able to see it too well, but it'll show up once it's weeded. I can just weed that extra bit off <laughs> when it comes unstuck. There we go, let's take that off. Now remember, I'm making a negative so the bits I want to remove are the bits that I actually want to print. My negative is done. So this is going to go onto a glass plate. These are pieces of glass that I had a local window maker cut for me out of scraps. They are five millimetres thick. If you're going to do this, make sure it's not UV protective glass because that will completely ruin the whole thing. I've got a plastic frame that I 3D printed. It's three millimetres deep. Now you could use foam, you could use wood, you could use metal. As long as it is a regular thickness, um, preferably three mil. Actually, I'm going to turn that over. One side of this is slightly sticky because it's already had gel on it. And that's quite good because it will help to keep things in place. What we can do is to get a little bit of a masking tape pressed down because it's slightly sticky that I'll stay there. I decant mine into small containers which I keep in a drawer. You have to keep them in the dark. Obviously it is a photoreactive. You want to put enough gel on here to fill the frame and as with any kind of resin making you want to make sure that you don't have any bubbles but if you're working in temperatures that are comfortable for most people like sort of 70 degrees Fahrenheit 20 or so centigrade then you probably aren't going to get too many bubbles if you have too little what it's going to do is have a dip in the center and if it's got a dip in the center it won't stamp very well so another piece of acetate Put it into the center here and let it go to the edges. There we are. That was pretty well judged. I haven't done any stamp making for ages. So I now have my UV lamp. I use this one with the lamps facing towards the outside, otherwise it's too quick. And I'm going to go for 45 seconds aside. Now I may get the time slightly wrong because I haven't made any stamps for ages and it does vary a little bit depending on the style of your writing or whatever and the temperature of the room if the gel's really cold to start with. But I'm going to go for 45 seconds aside and see how that does. So 45 seconds on one side, take it out, turn it over pop it back in and another 45 seconds and hopefully that's going to give me a stamp. So this comes off your plate, your plate stays clean and peel away this top layer here to reveal the stamp. 
Now if you touch it and it's a little bit wobbly, then I suggest turning it over and just putting it under there for about another five or ten seconds. So this piece which has got the remaining gel on it, you can actually just shove it under the lamp and switch it on and let it completely actually cure and that way you can just peel off the sat gel. Now I've washed this one out with soapy water, it's just washing up liquid or dish soap if you're in the US and you just use a nail brush and soapy water to get rid of the excess gel. Once that is done you can peel away your frame and remove the backing. Now if you really want to you can clean off your backing and reuse it. No reason why you can't as long as you don't get it all bent out of shape. Here is the finished stamp. You can just trim off these little fluffy bits or you can just trim around the shape just following the rough outline. You want to clean it off properly and then put it under the lamp. It can be wet when it goes under the lamp, that's fine. But put it under the lamp for another few minutes until it's well and truly cured. And then you have your stamp ready to use. Now I might get the funny image on here because my stamp is still a little bit wet since it's only just been made. But let's see what we get. There we go. Perfect stamp. So that's how I make photopolymer stamps in less time than it would take me to go to the shop to go buy one. I have a whole list of videos, a whole playlist on stamp making. So if you really want to learn how to do it, then I suggest you watch the most important stamp making playlist. Thanks for watching. Take care now.